What if we build a bridge between and above all nations to jointly discover the galaxy's great unknowns? The International Space Station, where the discovery of millions of mysteries of space opens up vast opportunities for humans to dominate outer space. However, that doesn't prevent the massive structure from being the subject of controversies. One of them is that it's often visited by unidentified flying objects. Why would UFOs visit the ISS? Is something ominous about to happen? And why the cover-up by authorities? The International Space Station is the world's most extreme and expensive scientific laboratory. Orbiting the Earth every 90 minutes, the International Space Station is the world's most complex engineering program. It's a low-gravity laboratory. Apollo 11's most visible follow-on science and exploration program, a testing ground for Moon-to-Mars journeys, and a triumph of international cooperation. The space station, including its large solar arrays, spans the area of a U.S. football field, including the end zones, and has a mass of 925,335 pounds. That's 419,000. 725 kilograms, not including visiting vehicles. The complex now has more livable room than a conventional six-bedroom house and has two bedrooms, gym facilities, and a 360-degree bay window. Astronauts have also compared the space station's living space to the cabin of a Boeing 747 jumbo jet. The ISS is not owned by one single nation, and is a cooperative program between Europe, the United States, Russia, Canada, and Japan, according to the European Space Agency, ESA. The International Space Station costs about $3 billion per year for NASA to operate, roughly a third of the human spaceflight budget, according to the agency's Office of the Inspector General. The ISS includes contributions from 15 nations. NASA, the United States, Roscosmos, Russia, and the European Space Agency are the major partners of the space station who contribute most of the funding. The other partners are the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency and the Canadian Space Agency. Through a private company called Axiom Space, private astronauts are starting to work on the orbiting complex from time to time. Additionally, astronauts from other nations such as the United Arab Emirates do fly occasionally to the ISS. Now, Russia announced it would withdraw from the ISS after 2024. Its goals, Roscosmos said, are to build a new Russian orbital space station around 2028 or so. The withdrawal will be gradual and the international partners are in discussions about the transition. So, NASA will be the sole decision maker with regards to the International Space Station. However, the space agency has been accused of deliberately shutting off these cameras during live streaming, when they transmit what it doesn't want you to see because of its position and capacity. As a space agency, NASA is in a unique position to sight strange objects that are not of Earth's origin. However, the agency has been thought to filter what it releases to the general public. For example, a recent skirmish that left UFO enthusiasts suspecting manipulation by NASA. During a live broadcast, a video clip shows an object entering the Earth's atmosphere before NASA's live feed from the International Space Station abruptly cuts out the bright object is seen descending toward the Earth in the video which UFO Hunter Street Cap 1 posted on YouTube, then the feed magically stops. But this attempt really doesn't stop the flow of information on one of the most controversial subjects ever, no matter what NASA hopes to achieve. In fact, it seems to fuel more interest in UFOs. People want to know what authorities might be trying to hide from them, for instance, UFO Hunter claims to have spotted 10 UFOs during NASA's livestream from the ISS. The sightings were made by a man who goes by the name of Jeff while watching NASA's livestream. 
he observed 10 unknown objects hovering around the ISS. Jeff posted a screenshot of the visual. At the time the ISS was flying over the South Atlantic, Jeff shared this screenshot with a YouTuber named Michael who describes himself as a full-time Earth watchman, that is, a person who tracks changes that occur on and near Earth in order to find hidden explanations for various phenomena. The screenshots have gone viral. Since then, racking up hundreds of thousands of views. This incident is reminiscent of the legendary mental incident that for a long time shaped the UFO discussion. It also bore all the hallmarks of an official cover-up. Back then, a cover-up was easier to do as the flow of information was way easier to curtail. On the other hand, NASA still publishes recent new findings that shocked many people. According to NASA, the most luminous galaxy is eating its neighbors. The material that the galaxy is stealing from its neighbors is likely contributing to its uber brightness, the study shows. Most of W2246-0526's record-breaking luminosity comes not only from stars, but also a collection of hot gas and dust concentrated around the center of the galaxy. At the heart of this cloud is a supermassive black hole recently determined to be 4 billion times more massive than the Sun. In the intense gravity, matter falls toward the black hole at high speeds, crashing together and heating up to millions of degrees, causing the material to shine with incredible brilliance. Galaxies that contain these types of luminous, black hole-fueled structures are known as quasars. Like any engine on Earth, W2246 Dash-0526's enormous energy output requires an equally high fuel input. In this case, that means gas and dust to form stars and to replenish the cloud around the central black hole. It is possible that this feeding frenzy has already been ongoing for some time, and we expect the galactic feast to continue for at least a few hundred million years. Ultimately, the galaxy's gluttony may only lead to self-destruction. Scientists hypothesize that obscured quasars that gather too much material around them end up vomiting gas and dust back out through the galaxy. This onslaught of material halts the formation of new stars, essentially pushing the galaxy into retirement while other galaxies continue to renew themselves with the birth of new stars. Well, NASA is working to cover up the dangers lurking on Earth and prevent us from knowing the future of the human world. If you are interested in outer space and the mysteries of the world, you can choose to watch the next videos on our channel. And be sure to leave a comment below to let us know what you think of today's content. Again, we thank you very much. We hope to see you again next time from all of us here. Until then, be careful and be safe.